What is up, YouTube? Mech here. I am still here. I've been gone a little bit. Uh, I've been so busy. It's been insane. But we're here, and we got the Christmas going on. You can't see it, but the sign behind me says ho, ho, ho. And we got Santa. And today, uh, it's not a Christmas beer. That's all I had to review, uh, admittedly. Uh, it's the uh, Dunkel Dark Lager from Von Trapp Brewery. They're brewing uh, in Stowe, Vermont. It says here on the front, a little of Austria, a lot of Vermont. So another one of those uh, New Englandy type beers. Um, big fan, actually, of um, beers that are just from around here. I'm on a little bit of a tight sedral. You would think, oh, what? what's going on? Um, how could you have a tight schedule? You know, you've been gone so much. Yeah, it's that crazy. So we're gonna go ahead and get the pour on straight away. Boom. Now, one thing I don't think I've met, that's a big head, holy crap. One thing I don't think I've mentioned on the channel here is that I'm a I'm a pretty big fan of uh, of dark loggers or black loggers, uh, if you will. There's a few uh, there's a few black loggers I've had. One being which from Sam Adams, and it is uh, one of my personal favorites. I have not seen it in stores for a while, thus I haven't reviewed it yet. <laughs> but it's very good. You know, that, that's one thing I've noticed. There are some beers, years ago I saw them in stores and I get them all the time, and now they're just gone, poof. Like, haven't seen them in forever. Um, but this one is actually uh, provided by my girlfriend's uh, dad. He picked it up and he thought it was good and told me, hey, grab one and review it. So here we are. Um, Really, guys, I am sorry that I've been gone for a while. Uh, it's been a few weeks. It's just been... It's been so busy. We have our, our puppy and puppy classes. We have church. And we have shopping for the holidays. And we have everything in between. And then there's work and overtime. And especially around the uh, winter months, I don't get up early very well at all to get into work for overtime, which means I need to stay late to make it up. And then I can't get the beer view in and it's all kinds of craziness and ridiculousness and yeah probably sounds like i could squeak it in but my schedule is just nuts so anyway we got the rest of this poured here so let's go ahead and hop over to beeradvocate.com and see what they have to say about it and here on beeradvocate.com we have a 88 out of 100 which is uh very good uh good to see really actually um so, style is a Munich Dunkel Lager, ranked 5, um, out of that particular style. Um, uh, either it's really that good, or there's just not very many in that style. Um, uh, scored overall, of course, is 88, uh, and is ranked 9,061 on the site overall. Um, with an average of 3.96 out of 5, rated by the... Uh, your advocate, um, folks. <laughs> um, there are 84 reviews of beer and uh, 306 ratings um, from, of course, Von Tapp Brewing in Vermont. Uh, and availability is year round. So if it's uh, if it's good, that's uh, good to know that it's available year round. Mm, the notes is that this is a dark lager, creamy toffee aromas, balanced bitterness of Munich malts in our roasted brown lager. Although dark in color, Dunkel is medium in body and finishes dry and clean, resulting in a rich lager that can be enjoyed throughout the year. Um, oh, and I, am, I almost forgot here. The ABV or alcohol by volume is 5.7, which is modest. It's not very high. Um, it is a little bit on the lower side. Um, not as low as some of your uh, light beers, but it's, um, it's modest, uh, to say the least. We've never read the style of Munich Dunkel Lager, so we'll go ahead and we'll read up on that real quick. Hopefully it's not too long. So. Whoa. I don't know why I just did that. 
<laughs> Moonich Dunkel Lager, an old friend of Bavaria. Moonich Dunkels are smooth, rich, and complex without being overly heady or heavy. They boast brilliant ruby hues from the large amounts of Munich malts used. And these malts also create a fuller bodied beer. In addition, the decor, uh, dick, <laughs> decoction brewing process lends uh, much depth and richness to uh, a flavor. Little to no hop aroma is detectable. The nose is dominated by malty notes of bread, nuts, and perhaps a touch of chocolate. Hop varieties used tend to be German noble varieties like Ted Tetnegger and Hallerto. My German is on point. <laughs> uh, bitterness is often moderate with just enough to balance out any sweetness. Now this seems to have um, sort of kind of reviewed the beer for me. Let's go ahead and review it for ourselves, shall we? It smells fantastic. Now this is one of the few beers that I've tried um, where in the smell, I can actually say, um, it smells nutty. I did have a beer recently. The name of it escapes me, but it, it had a distinct nutty character to it. Really hard to explain. Uh, this is similar though. Definitely uh, malty, nutty, a hint of chocolate in there. Um, I'm not really getting much else from it. Without further ado, let's dive on into this beer. I'm excited. So excited I almost uh, forgot to say cheers. Cheers. <laughs> that nutty flavor continues with the taste. Hmm. So that that's definitely a staple of this beer is the the nuttiness of it. With a hint of chocolate. If I you know the first thing that comes to mind, I like to try to pinpoint things that kind of stick out as soon as I see them. Um the first thing that comes to mind is like an almond chocolate Hershey bar. Kinda. That's the first thing I think of. Because it's got this nutty character, but it's also got just a hint of chocolate. Might need to have a, a larger sip here. Or gulp. <laughs> yeah. It definitely does remind me of a dark lager for sure. Or even a black lager. But this one, it really does have that, um, <clears throat> that nutty character to it. it it's also fairly creamy and uh for a dark beer like this i mean we didn't really talk about the the color <clears throat> it's not see-through at all and it's got like this really dark i want to say dark brown but at the same time it's like a really dark amber sort of as well almost like an orangey brown just very very dark and for a dark beer, it's very uh, medium bodied, like they said. Not not light, but it's not heavy either. And you get that nice uh, hint of chocolate with this this underlying nuttiness that's just there throughout, and the smell and the taste, everything. It's uh, it is good. This could make a good dessert beer. Um, Almost putting it next to like a Guinness. A Guinness can make a good uh, dessert beer. If you want to sip on a beer in between like, uh, <laughs> I don't know, chocolate cake or something like that. 
uh, or chocolate cream pie, maybe. Um, it's very nice. It, it's light-ish, even though it's uh, dark in color. Um, and and it's, this has a delicious flavor. So, guys, that is the Dunkle Dark Lager from Von Trapp Brewing. I approve. It's a very good dark beer. Um, it's got a great flavor to it. Uh, very different from other dark beers I've had. And, and absolutely not in a bad way. I like that it's got that medium body. It's not too heavy. It's got nice flavor, but it's not too heavy. That's huge. Uh, so guys, uh, tell me, have you ever had a Dunkel? Because um, I, I imagine that probably, you know, there's lots and lots of different uh, variations of Dunkel beers. It's not just these guys. Um, so anyways, let me know, know down in the comments if you ever had Dunkel beers before um, and what your personal favorite is if you've ever had any. And make sure you like the video if you enjoyed it. And we will see you guys in the next one. Take care.